This is Jazz from Caitlin and Jazz Books, and today I'm doing my October wrap-up and November TBR. I've actually read quite a lot this month, I've read seven books, which is kind of unexpected because I didn't think I'd actually get that far because of school and all that stuff, I only set four for my TBR, so this is great, it means I've read a lot. Let's move on, shall we? So the first one I read, um, I already mentioned in my September wrap-up video, and that is Back in Five Minutes by Joey Marino, who is my uncle, and this is a free copy that he gave to me because family. Um, I really enjoyed this book, I think I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, it's just a collection of short stories um, from the point of view of an investigator called Cornelius O'Reilly. Wait, yeah, Cornelius O'Reilly, I can't speak. <laughs> but it's really good, it made me laugh a lot, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because I already went through it in my September video. But that's the gist of it, it's like a detective, mystery, comedy, it's, it's just really good, so you should read it. The second book I read this month was An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here, and it's about a girl called Leia, um, and it's on the blood, so it's not really spoilers, but her grandparents are murdered and her brother is kidnapped, and the only way to get them back is to be a spy for this rebel group living in this sort of dystopian fantasy world. Um, and it's about her life as a spy in this world, trying to save her brother, and then it's also got another point of view, wait, I can't remember his name, um, called, um, it's uh, it's from the point of view of a guy called Elias, who is training in this academy where she's spying. So it's about their point of views on this world, um, and what they think of everything, and then trying to unravel the mystery of what's going on, because it's all very mysterious. But I really enjoyed this. Did I already say this? I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, and it was really, really good. The next book I read this month was City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, which is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series, which Caitlin has been bugging me to read, so I thought I might as well get on with it. This has been on my shelf for so long and I only just got around to it. Oh my god, this is my favourite one in this series so far. So much happened. Oh, so many spoilers. I can't really go into it. But it's basically just about Clary and Jace and all the other shadow hunters, and they go to Idris, is that what it's called? I don't it doesn't say on the blurb. Um, but they go to the Shadow Hunter world place city, um, and they live there, um, in this book, and that's where it's set. And Valentine and all that lot is coming to hurt them and stuff. I can't really go into much detail because quite honestly there's so many spoilers in this frickin' book. Also, oh my god, I this book actually made me cry. I was sat on my bed, it must have been about half eleven, and I thought I need to finish this book, I need to know what's gonna happen, and there was still like 30 pages left. My mum came in and she was like, Jasmine, go to bed, and I was just like, I can't. Uh, something terrible happened. Uh. Yeah, I got really emotional over this book. It's so good. The next book I read this month was a reread because, like I told you in our Halloween video, I've started to reread the Harry Potter series. So this is my copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, if you live in America, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so you all know what this is about. It's about Harry's first year at um, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, um, and it's just about him getting introduced to this medical world. Also, I went shopping yesterday with Caitlin, and I bought this amazing t-shirt. Can you see this? Can you see this? From Primark, uh, for £8, and it says, after all this time, you can't really see it because it's under a different layer, and then it says always, and I was like, I need to get this. There is no way I'm leaving Primark without getting this. So, yeah, I'm in a sort of fandom -y mood today. Also, I've decided to go as Lily Potter for Halloween. It's not really a costume, people won't be able to tell what I am, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. The next book that I read that month was Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which is the thir first book even in the Uglies trilogy. Um, and I, I thought it was alright, because um, Caitlin's read this too and she thought it was okay as well. I think I gave this 3 out of 5 stars, and I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty good rating. Because it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. Like, I, it was alright. I liked it. I didn't not like it, that's the thing. Um, so it's set in this dystopian society where at the age of 16 you have an operation to become pretty and anyone that looks normal is considered an ugly. And it's like brainwashing younger generations into thinking that they're ugly and to hate the way they look and stuff. So it's really psychological. So I think the idea is really good. Um, I think that the idea behind it is just, is really good. But it's just, the way that it's written, it almost seems like it's aimed at a really young audience which doesn't really fit the concept of the book, so that's what I kind of found it hard to keep up with, the fact that it was written for um, a younger generation of people as opposed to like actual like teenagers, so it was alright, but it's a bit young. 
I think. Next book I read this month was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Once again, like I said, I'm rereading the Harry Potter series, and this is about Harry in his second year of Hogwarts, um, ah, at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Um, and yeah, like I said, everyone knows what this is about, so I'm not going to go into it, but you know, Harry Potter. Everyone's read Harry Potter, and if you haven't, you should read it. <laughs> and the final book that I read this month was... The free book that Caitlin gave to me from Yalk, which I was I thought it was gonna be really bad because of the title and the cover, but then I realised it's a preview edition, so this wasn't the actual cover. But it was The Call cool by Peter O'Gillen. Oh my god, this is now my favourite book I have read this year. I gave this five stars. If it was possible to give any higher, I would. This is like a ten out of five. It's so good. It's really graphic though, so if you don't like gory stuff in a book you probably shouldn't read it, but I love a bit of gore, I love things like that, so, you know, this is my book. Um, it's basically in a, it's sort of like dystopian fantasy, really dark fantasy, it's really good. Um, it's set at this school where they train teenagers to fight these fairies because um, they banished these fairies long, long time ago and they're trapped in like this weird grey land. Um, so to get revenge, what they do is they take teenagers at random points in their adolescence and they have to survive um, a day in their world, which is three minutes in the real world. Um, and they do all these horrible things to them and then it's just really twisted and dark, but I really liked it. Um, it's about this girl called Nessa and she has polio, so her feet are kind of... Um, she can't run properly. Um, or she's not as physically able as the others and everyone's like, oh my god, you're gonna die people should have put you out of your misery a long time ago um, and it's really horrible, actually but it's just about her training and her um, personal life and things like that and how she's, like, preparing for this inevitable thing that happens and there's just so much else going on like, there's all these mysteries and stuff going on in this training academy it's just amazing and if you haven't read it or if you're thinking about reading it, you should definitely read this book. And I really hope there's a sequel, because it sounds like there's going to be a sequel. So I'm really hoping there is. So that is all the books I read this month. Uh, now on to my current read, which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I only started this yesterday, but I've got like two thirds of the way through. Because the first three Harry Potters are really like easy reads. They're, you can get through them really quickly. That's probably why I've read so much this month, because they're like that big. Um, but yeah, you all know what this is about. It's about um, Sirius Black coming back, um, <laughs> kind of rhymes, um, to try and kill Harry, etc, etc. But you know, you all know what this is about, so I'm not going to go into it that much. And now we're going on to the, my TBR for this month. And the first book is Twilight New Moon, uh, the second book in the Twilight series. Um, like I said, I bought the first three from, the on a, from a charity shop for £2, so might as well read them. I enjoyed the first one, like, which is amazing, because I don't think I would, considering, like, all the bad stuff going on with Twilight and everything. But I thought it was alright, so I might as well give the second one a go. Um, presumably it's still about Bella and Edward and their love story, which is so important and everybody cares about. I'm kidding, I do like Twilight, but it's just a bit cheesy. But you know what, I'm sure it'll be a nice easy read. Yeah, I'll be good. Next book to read this month is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. And this kind of annoyed me because um, I found this in a charity ship as well. Because um, I always wanted to read this because this is like the big trilogy to read when I was like younger. And everyone seemed to really enjoy it. So I thought, hey, I'll give it a go. But it annoys me because this is the film cover and the other covers are so much nicer. But you know what? If you're in a charity shop, what do you expect? You just take what you can get. And you know, it's the same book. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at this point in time. Like, if I enjoy this and have to buy the second one and it's the book cover, not the film cover, that's gonna be so annoying. But for now, for now, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, coughs. I hate coughs. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to this. From what I know, it's about a guy that can read stories and then the books come to life. But I don't really know much more than that. I do remember vaguely watching the film, but I don't remember anything about it. So, looking forward to that. Next book to read is. Um, the Spook's Mistake by Joseph Delaney, which is the fifth book in the Spook series. Um, I think I said last time that I'd sort of reached my pinnacle with the series, but um, I've already got the next two. I've got this one and I've got the one after, so I'll see how I'm feeling after that. But for now, um, I'm just kind of looking forward to see how the, the story alternates. 
I've already gone through this before, it's about Tom who assists a spook in fighting off all these evil things from the county and that's his job so yeah um, I'll just see how it goes. I'm hoping it's going to be good because I really want to get into the series like a lot because it's, um, it's really good. It's just kind of yeah but I'm looking forward to it. But on my TBR for this month, well November, um, is the um, wait, <laughs> Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. That's an amazing name, Lauren Miracle. That's great. Um, this has actually been on my shelf for the last two years. I just never got around to reading it. But I'm see. I'm thinking now it's November. It would be an appropriate book to read because by the time I get around to this, it will be the end of November, start of December, um, and it'll be it'll be Christmas, Christmassy, Christmassy vibes. So I think it's appropriate to start reading Christmas books. Um, from what I know, it's just three short stories, um, one from each of the different authors, um, based on a different character and then they all intertwine, but I don't really know much more than that. Everyone's been saying it's really good, so I, yeah, I'll get around to reading that ASAP. So that was my wrap up and TBR for October and November, so I hope you enjoyed. Please leave, wait, I'm trying to remember this now, <laughs> please leave a like, comment and subscribe because it's free. Um, and Caitlin will see you tomorrow with her wrap up and TBR and Caitlin will see you next, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, one of us will see you next week. So, bye guys.